Morning guys, this is Jason with Aegis Detailing Philippines. Today we're going to discuss about the limitations of PPF, paint protection film, or better known as clear bra. Uh, behind me is a first generation Audi R8 uh, that's been PPF about less than four years ago. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we've noticed. So client has brought the car in because he's starting to notice um, the hood because th this has a partial front or a full front uh, PPF um, protection and he's starting to notice that the PPF is not as shiny and basically it's starting to fail and upon inspection there are a lot of things that uh, we've uh, noticed that we've already started to tell our clients to be wary of. Uh, number one is PPF will not last as long as coating because it's apples to oranges. PPF is designed for uh, hard impacts like to prevent from rock chip, to protect it from rock chips, um, from debris, uh, especially at high speeds. Now, uh, PPF has a lot of limitations. It's apples to oranges, as I mentioned, depending also on how uh, it was installed, if it's installed properly uh, and, and if it's uh, prepped properly. Now, here I want to show you, we're starting to peel off uh, the existing PPF, and I'm not going to mention any brands, uh, but there are, not all PPFs are made uh, or designed, developed the same, uh, but this one here um, has been on the vehicle for about less than four years, but it's starting to fail, and the reason why I said that is because we see I don't know if, it, if the video can show this. Um, the, the PPF itself is starting to oxidize. It's not as glossy. It, the shine and the finish is very dull now. And, and it was not prepped properly or installed properly. A good example is this. Do you see a line? That line basically uh, is gunk, wax, debris that's been stuck there. Uh, through the years um, here this is the part that's no there's we haven't peeled off yet so there's a lot of debris that's uh, stuck in the middle and there shouldn't be a line there to, to begin with uh, so the installer basically did some shortcuts uh, and basically to make it easier for him to install and didn't do a single piece there should be just a single piece uh, going across the hood so to prevent this type of uh, line and even if let's say uh, the installer has encountered a surface that he requires or he needs to uh, do a uh, separate piece the cut should be even on the body line but if you look at here it is an uneven cut so uh, hence uh, we have this line as like a fake uh, extra panel here is, uh, you can see it on this end as well and what the installer has done, and he has did, you see the cutout around the V10? Um, the proper way to do that is do this is basically remove the, the badge or the, the decal before applying the PPF and reinstall the decal properly. But he didn't do this and instead did, did a manual cut. It's not even a um, pre-cut from a machine uh, or from a CAD, it's a manual cut. So the 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 cut is very uneven. See that? So these are the things that uh, keep an eye out, especially for high-end cars like this. It should be done properly. Now going to the PPF. This is what we removed. See the yellowing? So that means the plastic is starting to fade or to fail. Um, it, it, it's in different pieces instead of just like pulling it off in just one uh, because uh, it's starting to get brittle so uh, with a white background see how it's starting to turn yellow and here it is on the vehicle it's not as prominent on a black background or black car but if your car is a light color or white uh, this will show uh, very prominent that the PPF is starting to fail. Similar to, a good analogy would be your headlights. Most of the headlights, uh, if you're starting to see it start to turn yellow or oxidize, it's because plastic will deteriorate because of heat and sunlight. 
okay, the UV and plastic will basically turn and start to fail. There are PPF manufacturers now that are, that are developing products that are stronger, uh, that has a higher um, lifespan, and they have anti-yellowing uh, features, puncture proof instead of puncture resist, uh, more stronger, more durable. So this is what uh, we need to be aware of when we're investing. PPF is probably the most expensive pain protection solution for your vehicle next to coatings and sealants and whatnot. So just be aware. Again, there are certain limitations for PPF. If you leave, if the owner has decided to keep the PPF longer, because let's say he spent a lot of money on the PPF and he wants to keep it longer, then there's an issue with the adhesive behind the PPF to start um, uh, damaging the clear coat. So the clear coat will now start to turn yellow. And again, it's gonna be prominent more on a lighter color vehicle. But again, so uh, please be aware uh, for those uh, professional detailers out there um, or whose people who are thinking of doing PPF, just be mindful there are certain limitations. It's apples to oranges between PPF and coating. Okay, so now the client wants this redone the P with the PPF uh, and then coated with our uh, proprietary glass coating Atom 6. Again, thanks guys for watching. If this helps you, uh, click uh, subscribe and send me a message if you have any questions. Thanks.